Hey guys, I I did say the first project would be an axe sheath. Uh, like I said, well, right now I just got this wrapped up and it's not really all that protective. So I have some rawhide left over from the knife. And, where did that piece go? Uh, oh, here's the bolt. So I figured I'd actually, actually get some serious work done as far as tools. Protecting my, protecting my tool. Trying to make sure you get this laid out right so it's not so freaking weird. Uh, and that actually works better. Okay. So, sorry. At least this is going to be a ride. Uh, all I did was I took the this off, traced it out, uh, did a rough outline, and I took paper. Uh, here, let's just take that thing off. Uh, I don't have all the tools I need to actually sew it together. I'm actually probably going to do some high glue to glue together first, which I have around here somewhere. This is probably going to be like a two part. So, okay, in here. So what I did was piece of paper, drew the outline up to about here. Um, as is, since this is raw height, if it, I'm pretty sure it still will dry hard. Uh, clear, obviously, this is not fresh raw height. It's actually been dyed with wal walnut husks, uh, which was grac graciously pro and unexpectedly provided by Randy B Buthard. Uh, Randy, again, thank you. I'm sorry it took me so long to get these on film. Uh, I have been playing with them, as you can, as you can see. So, right now this is still a bit damp. It's a little stretch, a little bit on the stretchy side. So, okay. Uh, let's see if pencil mark up. Uh, yeah, pencil won't really mark up too well. Oh, snugs. Uh, give me one second to find the marker, and I, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Yes, I know it's purple, but, you know, color don't matter. Alright, so, yeah, I'm doing this also on the, uh, plus I said, I think it's shown. So, let's trace it out. There, like I said, this should dry pretty dang hard. Much like my, no, shoot, no, I can't, that's not right. There we go. There we go. So that I should just be pretty much like Kydex. As Leaf Adirondack was once said when I showed my felt knife sheath. Uh, right, it's nature's Kydex. Or as I like to say, Kydex is, is man, man's rawhide. To a point. Right, even better than Kydex and its usefulness. Okay, so we got that. Uh, oh, this is not good. Okay. Will I do one for my tomahawk? Eh, not sure. Of course, that. Oh, where are people's shears? Oh, here they are. This is where the rubber meets the road, guys. Like, you gotta be very, very careful. This is not the first time I made sheaths for such 
axes. But it's the first time we're being a ride and on film, so bear with me, guys. I like the way this came out, actually. Yeah, actually, it's still pretty white on the inside, so it just should dry hard and not be seeing soft tanned leather. Because that's what's good this stuff is. Uh, you guys, that's why it makes it die. It's actually tanned. <sighs> I find it easier to cut on what though? There we go. Okay, this just seems to be already drying out, so. I'm not a big fan of using rivets to hold leather together. This is what I am. Alright. Shoot this fits properly. Not quite. That needs to be trimmed a bit more. I need to give me a watch. Okay, so there we go. Like I said, it should be just like Kydex. It should uh, be able to snap right on. That's the way I designed it, at least. Alright, so let's... snaps to do a chair strap. B, this is raw. It should just dry out hard. Alright, that's the beginning of it. I'll just take this damn thing off. So. Oh yeah, it's already starting to dry out. Okay, so I'm going to have to definitely trim the... This up a bit. Alright, trim that up once. There we go. A little bit. There we go. Alright. I'll be glued in place through here and stitched. Uh, if it comes down to it, I can always buy some more rawhide. Uh, pretty sure Joanne sells the snaps. Just gotta go one day after work. And I can buff out the rawhide and rewire buff it out, try to just soften it up, soak it into and the coconut, not coconut, <laughs> walnut hooks for a while. to make sure it stays pliable. Make me 
me a retainer strip, uh, keeper strap. But again, I like the color. I like the way it looks. This is very, very rustic looking. Which is kind of the whole way I'm going for your. Alright, well, let's. You know, it's not glued. Let's see how well this will work. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That will work great. Yeah, like I said, if I have to, or if this does not dry uh, rock solid, my sheath, I'll make a, uh, I can cut apart, take, take the glue apart, and, oh, I'll cut stitching, rather, not this. Uh, give me some more rawhide, and just keep, do a keep strap, and in that, in that case, I'll have enough to do, like, tomahawk, so that's probably what I'll end up doing. I'm out of So, for right now, guys, that's it. So, next installment should be up in a day or two. Uh, I'm actually really liking the way it looks. It's a nice color. Um, in case you guys didn't really get a good close of what Randy did, uh, that's what Randy did. did. So, uh, man, it's too generous. Yeah, put it in and then I'll probably run my Dremel over that and just smear that out. <sighs> so far, so good, guys. Project 1 started and might be done in the next couple days. Uh, a couple weeks, like I said, I'll start, I'll get the stuff to do the tarp and the bed tick. The, the, the bed tick's the one thing I really want to want, want get done. That is going to be pretty fun. <laughs> uh, like like I showed the other night, the way I decided to do it. What the heck? Stupid piece of junk. No, we can get. There you go. Yeah, just stupid. Camera. Not camera. There we go. But, yeah. Anyway, don't pass up rawhide. I mean, this is what the dog chew initially. Uh, rawhide is good material to make uh, sheaths and whatnot out of. Uh, as, like I said, as uh, Leaf put it, it's pretty much just natural kydex. And those of you who like kydex, here's my knife. Rock solid. It can, it's a little flexible, but not terribly so. And you just listen. Look, it's not coming out. It gives a great well. The style of sheath is has great retention. Uh, please, I apologize for the kids in the background. They're playing video games, and they always get pretty riled up when they do. All right, so I'll probably. Dig out my high glue and start going that up. And of course, uh, I don't have any duker cement or anything like that right now. So, but I want to try to keep this as not. It's not really traditional. Actually, yeah, it's kind of traditional. So I want to keep it as traditional as possible. And use high glue, uh, which is something more than Knox unflavored gelatin, by the way. Uh, so, with that, until uh, number two, have fun, uh, have fun, play hard, and I'll see you in the woods.